line when you're driving. Amen. Because you can get drunk in the spirit. I'm done up. Amen. And I have to wash the white line. I was okay. Amen. Because the policeman put me over one day and I was going to Lafayette. And he said, uh, he said, you all right? I said, yes, sir. I said, what's wrong? I know I was driving the speed limit. I had it on cruise. I know he couldn't get me for the speed limit. So I said, well, what's wrong? He said, well, you're crossing the white line. I said, well, okay. He said, you okay? I said, oh, yeah, I'm all right. I didn't want to tell him I was drunk in the spirit. And then he would took me down there downtown to check me out and have to blow in the balloon and all that other stuff. So I thank God for wisdom. Amen. I said, no, it's okay. I appreciate it. So I started watching the white line. I go on the last head in Louisiana. Put my music back on and got drunk again. Lord, how must it? But I was watching the white line. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. For that choir. Amen. God is, amen. That choir is moving. Thank God. Amen. Let's go to the Lord and pray. Lord, we thank you for the prayers I already went for. Thank you for the choir, how you use them, God. For your honor and your glory, Lord. Lord, we pray for wisdom, amen, this morning. Knowledge and understanding concerning your word. Help us, God, that we don't add them to your word or take anything away from your word. And we're right and divide your word by your spirit, Lord. Lord, a special proud man for Sister Tony and Sister Lord that's in a nursing home. God, we pray that you raise up, amen, Sister William, Lord, and raise up for your honor and your glory, Lord. Brother Don Evans, Lord, touch him, God, that's in a nursing home. Lord, raise him up and give him the desires of their hearts, Lord. By your spirit and by your great power, God. And God, we a special prayer with Dick and Jesus Bible Center Center. What have they gone through, Lord? Whether it be spiritual, physical, financial, Lord. Air of our life, Lord, you say you supply all of our needs to call you rich in glory. By Christ Jesus, Lord. And God, we are thankful for that, Lord. In Jesus, Lord, those that are sick in our bodies, Lord. Let your healing grace you flow like a river, God. You say, with your stripes we are healed. With your blood we are cleansed. We are sanctified by your word, Lord. We are set apart, Lord. We are in this world, God. But we are not a part of it. In Jesus' name, oh God. And God, we are thankful for that, Lord. We pray for the president. And those authority, Lord, the Democrat, Republican God. Let there be peace in the White House, God. Let there be peace in our house, Lord. Those that are not saved in that White House, let they be saved, God. Those that are not saved in our house, Lord, save them, God, in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Amen and amen and amen. Give the Lord another hand clap for who he is. Thank God. Amen. Bless God. Amen. We want to use for a subject where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, this is going to be a series because I got a lot of groceries on that. I got a lot of groceries. So what we're going to do, we're going to help us to take our time with the Lord. Amen. Because I can't get it all in no one day. Amen. So I'm going to take, help me to take my time with the Lord. Amen. And bring this word forward. Come to page 1257. Page 12. Amen. 57. Amen. That's going to be the third chapter, the 17th verse. Third chapter, 70 verse. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty means freedom. Amen. It is freedom. The, Jesus, the scripture say, Jesus Christ say, <laughs> whom the Son set free, is free indeed. Amen. So where God's spirit at, amen, you'll find liberty in your life. you find freedom. So then uh, I had to ask the question, well, how can I be around the Spirit of God? Amen. Well, how can I be around His Spirit all the time? Oh, this is going to be awesome stuff here. There's going to be a long going on message here because we're going to start on Monday. If we ain't through with money, we're going to continue on whatever other days the Lord give us to bring it out because we got a lot of groceries. Amen. Come with me now to uh, page 1043. Amen. Page 10. Amen. 43. I want to know how to be around the Spirit. Amen. Bless God. Hey, y'all tell me something. Show me how this thing, how I can work it so it can work for me. I said, show me how to work it. Amen. Bless God. So it'll work for me. Amen. I'm tired of the devil beat me up, coming in my dream, fooling with my flesh, fooling with my health. Lord, I must have God. Fooling with my finances. Anybody know about finances? Fooling with my money. Amen. I got enough of them. In Jesus' name and by the blood of the Lamb of God. Sister Kim, amen, devil this Friday. Amen. If y'all want to get some more groceries on this, amen, y'all can go, amen, to uh, Friday service, amen, on uh, Facebook. 
Amen. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, page 1043 and 6th chapter, the ninth verb. As it is matter, therefore, pray ye, our Father. Oh, that's where I want to go now. Oh, yeah, I don't want to go there now. Come with me to page 1043. That's, uh, okay, you got 6 and 33. That's where I want to go. Amen. We don't, we don't want to go to the prayer yet. Amen. Because uh, we're going to get there. I told you we had a lot of groceries. Amen. Look at that 33rd verb. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all them things shall be what? Added unto you. Now, he tell them what to seek first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What is God's righteousness? It's his word. It's his laws. It's commandments. It's judgment. I tell you, there's a lot of groceries in here now. So, but he tell me to seek first the kingdom of God. So God has a kingdom. So I have to seek that. And God also has righteousness to govern this kingdom. Just like today, amen, we're in, we're in this world. So they have laws to govern the world. Now I told a brother one time, I said, what you can do, because he, he believed in that grace message without the law. I said, I'll tell you what you can do. Go down the highway and speed. Now I didn't tell, you know, I didn't know you go. Ended up getting caught speeding, but uh, I'm sure he didn't do it because I told him to go do it. But anyhow, they gave him a ticket, and then uh, he couldn't pay it, so he had, to, he had to borrow some money to pay that ticket. A lot of mercy. So I told him, I said, what you can do, if they pull you over, tell them that you're not under that law, that you're under grace, and see what happened. Well, they gave him a ticket, he had to pay. All that mercy got him. Uh, so uh, that don't make sense. Amen. Uh, God's law, amen, so God has righteousness in his kingdom. So I have to, I have to study the word. You say, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So I have to go study about his righteousness, amen, to understand what, how he rules his kingdom. Every kingdom have uh, some laws and commandments ruled by. Uh, even, even the Muslims, they got uh, rules and stuff. They go by the Quran to rule their kingdom. We go by the Bible. Uh, hold the Bible to rule, up, to rule us. Amen. Bless God. The kingdom of God. So they think they're serving God. Amen. But they're going to find out at the end uh, that they was deceived. Uh, there was false prophet prophesied to them. Amen. Because they didn't believe on Jesus Christ. So now they're going to die in their sins. Just like the Pharisees. You told the Pharisees the same thing. That you're dying in your sins if you don't believe that I'm He. I believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that He's my Savior. Amen. Bless God. Now because of Jesus Christ, I'm in the kingdom of God. Not only he's my savior, he's the king of the kingdom. How you gonna get in the king? How you gonna get in the kingdom without a without a king? Try to do that. Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work for you. Uh, so I have to seek that first. So the first time, I, first thing I get in the morning, who I have to seek? I have to seek the law, the kingdom of God, and this righteousness. And then he said other things. Yeah, my children, my food, my clothing. So if you study the rest of this, you find out you're dealing with, amen, clothes. Amen, dealing with your food. Uh, don't worry about what you put on, what you're going to eat. Uh, so that's what he's dealing with. He said, but if you put me first and seek my rights in first, seek what I want to do when it's right. Not what you think is right, or not what man says right. Lord, I mean, but what I say about it. He said, you seek that first. I'll add all the other stuff you want in your life. You can't beat this promise. My God. Amen. Well, well preacher, I, I, I get up just in time enough uh, to eat my breakfast and, and, and the dough hit me in the real. Well, get uh, such an alarm clock, man, uh, some, uh, at least an hour uh, earlier uh, and spend an hour with God. Amen. Well, you, and if you can't do an hour, do 15, then do 40, and do an hour, then do two hours, three hours. Oh, uh, y'all going to find the more you do it, the better it's going to get for you. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to have the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Where well, the spirit of the Lord is, that's what? Yeah. Liberty. God is a spirit. So where the spirit of the Lord is, that's liberty. That's freedom. My God. Lord, I'm blessed myself here, Lord. Amen. Come with me now to uh, Lord, I'm blessed myself. Get a Lord a hand clap, amen, uh, uh, for his word. So uh, righteousness, I look at the word righteous, mean the quality of being right or just. That's what righteous means. It's the quality of uh, being with this writer, Jess. Uh, look at, uh, let's go to page 641. Page 641. And that's going to be uh, Psalms 11 and 2. 
page 641. Psalms 11, started at the second verse. Amen. Psalms 11, started at the second verse. Amen. Uh, for lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrows upon the strain. That they may probably shoot at the upright in the heart. So you got wicked uh, looking to take, take uh, the righteous out. That's why we teach spiritual warfare over here. Uh, so that, that way the wicked can't take us out. We fighting back. We learn how we, we learn how to fight back over here. Uh, we put some stuff back in their camp. Hey Amen. Look at third verse. Uh, if the foundation uh, be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So if you destroy the foundation of God, what can the righteous do? That's a question, now. They can't. They can't do nothing. They end up. They end up not knowing how to uh, do what is right. Because if, if you destroy the foundation of God's word, the righteousness of, of God, Amen. Bless God. Then you won't know uh, what, uh, what is right or wrong. You establish your own ideas of what's right, and then you establish your own idea of what's wrong. You don't want to do that. You want to find out what God says about it. Lord have mercy, God. Lord have bless myself here, Lord. So uh, let's look at Psalm 82 and 5. Hold your finger there because we're coming back over there. Let's, let's look at Psalm 82 and 5. It, it's giving us a reference here to run to. Let's, let's run to that and see what else we got here. Amen. Uh, Psalms 82. Let's start at that second verb. Amen. Let's start at that second verb. We're going to come back to the 11. 82. Amen. And 2. And see uh, what it's giving us in this reference. How long will you judge unjustly? Except the person of the wicked. So you say, how, how long are you going to judge un un unjustly? See, sometimes the wicked got something to say. And then the people of God got something to say. So if you don't know what God's word says, you'll ju judge unrighteously. You'll take, on the, you'll take the wicked side. Oh, let me get back over here. Uh, third verse. Defend the poor and the fathers do justice to, uh, to the afflicted. And needy. He said, now this is what I want you to do. I want you to defend the poor and the father. You know who the father is here? As a widow. They don't have, they don't have any children. Uh, they don't have any children. I've seen when they are uh, passing a law. They're passing a law on uh, abortion uh, to stop killing the babies. Uh, all they got a lot of folks upset about that. Uh, but that's good. That's good. Because I'm going to show you in the book of Proverbs, amen, uh, when we leave here, we're going we're gonna to show you something in the book of Proverbs that lines up, amen, with the innocent. See, uh, a child is innocent. A child can't defend itself in the mother's womb. And God is against that. God said you shed the, the blood of the innocent. So they're innocent. So somebody got to stand up for them. I said somebody got to stand up for them. And then they want to they want accept uh, or whether it's rape. Well, give a child a chance enough. Amen. A child didn't have anything to do with your rape. Y'all want me to say it again? I said, the child had nothing to do with what you. You can take it Where that preacher come from? A lot of times I was about to tell him from. I just got drunk up here. 1375 East Lucas, 77703, Beaumont, Texas. Pastor Herman Young. Thank you, brother. Good Lord, have a clap for we is. Thank God for an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So you have to defend it. You have to defend the poor and the fathers. Amen. Uh, so the, that, that's the widow that the children don't have a father. Amen. Do justice, man, to afflicted and needed. Look at our uh, four bread. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the what? Of the wicked. You need, you need to rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on, on, on in the darkness and the foundation of the earth are out of course. Lord, have mercy. So the father of the earth is out of course because they're not following uh, the righteousness of God. They're not, they're not following God's kingdom. Amen. Bless God. And you see that the word of God said the kingdom of God was in us. It's on, it's on the inside of us. I'm talking about the believers now. Amen. The kingdom of God. You see what Jesus Christ says is in us. Uh, now come back with me to uh, Psalms 11 chapter, at page 641. Amen. 11 chapter. So if you tear down the foundation of God's word, then you end up doing everything wrong. Look at the fourth verse. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord throne is in the heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. So God is looking at everybody. 
The Bible says his eyes go to and fro, back and forth, looking in the earth. The Bible says he's looking, he couldn't find one. What he was looking for? He was looking for the righteous, but no, 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 no spot, with no blemish. So he couldn't find one, so he had to send who? He had to send Jesus. He had to send his son, put him in the flesh, send his son, because he had to have a perfect sacrifice without sin. Amen. Jesus, only one, he had to send his own son down here, wrap him in flesh, and then turn around and die for the sins of man, because God had to have a perfect sacrifice without sin. Bless myself here, Lord. You're looking for perfection, preacher. Uh, children of God. No, let me get back up here. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. So, uh, Lord have mercy. Did I read that fourth word? Okay. Uh, so the Lord tried the righteous, so he, he, put, a, he put the righteous to test to see what they're going to do wrong. See, God don't tip you with sin, but he will try you. See what you're going to do, if you're going to live for him or not. But the wicked uh, and him that loveth violence, he, his soul hated. So God hates those, amen, bless God, and want to do violence, want to do things against the righteous. Look at that sixth verse. Upon the wicked he shall rain snare, fine brimstone, and, and a harbor tempest. Uh, this shall be the portion of their cup. That don't sound good to run with the wicked. That don't sound like what they're going to get is good. <laughs> That's what God said he's going to do. See, we give it all over here. We give you the love of God, the right of God, the judgment of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God. Lord, I, mean, I said we give it all over here. Amen. And you can go ahead and choose what you want. And say, I said before you, life and death. He give us a choice. Cursing and blessings, he give us a choice. Lord, have mercy, God. I, I'm going to choose life. I'll choose life so I can live. And then I'm going to bring everything out to you of oh, God's word. I'm not hiding nothing from you. Amen. Bless God. I'm not going to just give you something smooth. You have to get that somewhere else. You have to go to another church and get you something smooth because a lot of them are uh, teaching smooth stuff for you while you're living in your sins. Shacking up. Amen. Uh, adultery, fornication. You just having, having fun with your junky flesh. Amen. And thank you on your way to heaven. When you're on the way to somebody or something around here. Lord, I must say. Uh, seven five. Amen. For the righteous, uh, for the uh, righteous Lord loveth righteous. What do you do? He loves righteousness. He don't like wickedness. I don't care who, who you who you think you are. You don't like that now. We're gonna make that clear. Amen. Uh, his uh, confidence uh, do behold of right. Lord have mercy, God. Amen. Give the Lord. I say, give the Lord another hand clap for you. Amen. Bless God. Thank God. I say, thank God for the word. Amen. Bless God. I was gonna bring you to uh, Proverbs. Amen. Let's look at Proverbs. Yes, Lord. Uh, let's go to Proverbs, the uh, first chapter. Amen. Proverbs, the first chapter. And we want to give you, amen, the innocent. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that, that's in that. Yeah, thank you for it, Lord. Thank you for it. Okay, let's go to page 723 first. Amen. That's uh, Proverbs, the fifth chapter. Lord, have mercy, God. That page, uh, uh, 7, 723, Proverbs 1, I mean 5 and 16. Uh, These six things do the Lord hate. Uh, yea, seven is an abomination to him. Now, he hate how many things? Seven. Six things and, seven. and seven and one is abomination. You're going to see what that seven one is. Oh my God. That's an abomination to the Lord. So now if I don't have if I don't have God's word, I don't have the foundation of righteousness, then I won't know what's right. And now how I'm gonna seek I have to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. This is how I seek it. I seek it through the word. So that's 16 bird, uh 17 bird, a proud look, a lying tongue. And hand of what? Shed innocent blood. So a baby that's in a mother's womb is innocent. They can't defend themselves. They can't talk for themselves. Somebody got to talk for them. Somebody got to defend for them. Lord have mercy God. So give that baby a chance to prove the baby who that baby going to be. Not for who you think they're going to be. 
Because God is against that. At page 723, just read the 17th verse. Go on to 18. And heart that devises wicked iman imagination. You know, you got some Christian in your heart devised wicked imagination. Get your heart right with God and stop thinking all that little crazy stuff coming against your mind. Cast the devil down in the name of Jesus. Amen. You, you, 2 Corinthians. Amen. 10, 4, and 5. Little weapon of our warfare, not carnal, but mighty through God and pulling down strongholds, casting down imagination, everything that is all itself against the knowledge of God, bringing the captivity of demons of Christ. Every thought got to obey Jesus. When the devil bring it to your mind, clean up behind the devil. What you going to do with it? Clean up behind him. He's going to bring you some junk. He's going to be the devil. He's trying to get you to act like him. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, look at the 19th word. Amen. The false witness. Amen. The speaking lies. And he that sowed discord among the brethren. Amen. Discord. So I had to look at the word discord. It means strife or disagreement. Jesus Christ had more disagreement with the Pharisees. Huh? I didn't finish 18. Thank you, Sister Kim. We greet you over here. That's, that's hidden in the crumb. Feet that swift and run into mischief. Y'all know what mischief is? Wrongdoing. Wrongdoing. They put in a hurry. They put in a what? They put us in a hurry to mischief. They want to do something wrong. They ain't going to go to sleep and they go do something wrong. I ain't running with that crowd no more. I used to be the leader. I had, uh, I had 300 guys under me. I used to lead them. Figure 19, right? A false, thank you, Sister Gavin. A false one that's speaking live, and he that saw discord among the brother. So I look at the discord, it means strive a disagreement. So uh, Jesus Christ had a lot of opposition against the Pharisees. Lord, I must say. Uh, he had a lot of disagreement. So I, 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 I got to think about that. I said, you know what, Lord, you did have a lot of problem with, uh, uh, with the Pharisees and scribes. Uh, so I find out that people going to disagree with you. They're going to talk. They're going to come against what you say. Just be with righteousness. Because they're going to disagree because they're doing wrong. You're going to be on one side of that. I said, okay, the Lord makes some sense to me. Oh, yeah. So Jesus Christ had a disagreement, but he was right in his disagreement. So be right if you disagree. Another person, you can't have. Now, how are you going to disagree with two people that's right? That's why not. They're both right. You all disagree with folks that's wrong. I hope y'all got that one. But my God, that one. Lord, have mercy, God. And then get the Lord out of hand, clap him out here. I say, God is an awesome God. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Bless God. Uh, so uh, that's how you destroy uh, among the brethren. This God is, is strife and disagreement. Uh, so the only way that you can be on one accord, you got to have, have to be one spirit. You got to have the spirit of God in you. Amen. That's why we got to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So for us to be on one accord, amen, we have to be in the spirit of God. We have to be in his word. So if we both agree with the word of God said, now we are in the, on one accord, one mind and one spirit. See, no, nobody is against one another because we're all on what God says about it. Um, that's what's up here. Amen. Uh, look at 90 verse. The false witness. That speak loud, and he that sow discard, my brother. Hey, uh, so, uh, amen. So we don't want to sow discard. Uh, uh, let, amen. Uh, we just want to be right. So when you be right, you're going you're gonna to have disagreement. And uh, expect somebody's wrong. So there will be a disagreement. So I ask the Lord, I'm saying, now, Lord, you help, help me. Amen. When I find that I'm in a disagreement with somebody, and I'm trying to give them the truth, help me to get away and uh, leave that alone and put them on the Put them on the what? Put them on the prayer. Don't say that and argue with them. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Might say. Humble yourself. Amen. Humble yourself before the Lord. Lord, have mercy, God. And when you humble yourself before the Lord, uh, amen, bless God. God going to bless you. And because the scripture says that if you humble yourself, God will lift you up. And those that exalt themselves, God will bring them down. So if you stay humble, God going to raise you up above all that stuff. Amen. It ain't going to control you, but you control it. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. For the word. Thank God. I say thank God for the word. Amen. Now come with me now to page 6. Amen. 42. Amen. Page 642. It's going to be Psalm 15 and 1. Page 642. 
Amen. 15 and 1. Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in his holy hill? Now, this is the question. Now, you're going to find out who won. Amen. Who's going to abide in God's tabernacle? Amen. Then you find out whether you're in the spirit or not. Where the spirit of the Lord is, that's liberty, that's freedom. Amen. Bless God. You're not bound. Amen. You're not all tied up and yoked up. Amen. With all kind of emotions and feelings and all that stuff that runs through you. Lord, I must say, in other words, you can overcome those signs. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name and by the blood of the Lamb. Look at that second verse. He that walketh what? Uprightly. You know how to walk uprightly? How, how you do that? In the Word. In the Word. You got to know the word to walk upright. You got to know, you have to know the righteousness of God. Where you at, Pastor? I'm in uh, 62, page 62, Psalm 15 and 2. He that walketh upright and worketh what? Righteousness. That's how you walk upright. Hey, man, you're working righteousness. Hey, man. Uh, that's 15 and 2, Psalm 15 and 2. And speaking the truth in his what? In his heart. And you, you don't tell lies. You know how some folks, you know, what they do, what they do with a lie, and they always try to get out with their lies. But a lie will get you out of the pot into a skillet. Skillet a little bit hotter. So they think they're getting out by telling the lie. But the Bible says a lie you won't tear in God's sight. So if you want God to tear in your sight, tell the truth. You can't lie because then you, you, you won't have the Spirit of God. Hey man, when the Spirit of the Lord is, that's what? That's liberty. He had a brother told me one time, he said, man, I went and told the truth, and they gave me six months. I said, well, thank the Lord they gave you six months, and now you don't have to stay in hell for eternity. Y'all caught that one? Yeah. He told the truth down here on earth. They gave him six months. Six months to me is better than eternity in hell. My God. Yeah, the truth. You should know the truth. The truth what? It gonna go, you're going to go free to truth, but the Bible says it's going to hurt you. No, you go free. You see, he went free from hell because he told him what? The truth. Amen. So the truth, you shall know the truth, and the truth, you go going free with it. You, it set you free, make you free. Amen. King James verse said make. Amen. So we, we said the King James over here, uh, whichever version you read, just go free. Amen. Just go free. Lord, I must have God. Look at that third verse. He that backbite back, back not with his tongue, nor do it evil to his neighbor. Now, this is the right of God. We're seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, take it up a reproach against his neighbor. Look at that fourth verse. Whose eyes a vile person is contemned. So I have to, I have to look at that uh, about a vile person. I want to find out who, who that person was so I won't be like him. So I want more. I'm getting as much knowledge of good and evil as I can, so I don't want to do the evil. I want to do the good in the kingdom of God. Because all the righteous is going to dwell in this kingdom. Weakness can't dwell in the kingdom of God. So a vile person, it, uh, it means to reject. You reject that vile person because they're doing evil. Their deeds is evil. That's what a vile person is. They, they're doing everything that's evil that is against God. So here it said, whose eyes a vile person uh, contempt. Amen. So I look at the word means despise. So what God does, he look at that person and he see that they vow, he despises them because they're doing evil. They're doing what? My God. Oh, we're going to make way. I done ate this. I done ate it. Amen. I done chewed it. Amen. It ain't going to be hard to go down. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Uh, but he uh, honored them that fear the Lord. Who he honored? I wonder why they fear in God. They're righteous. They know, they know the consequences of sin. See, a person that don't fear God don't have no knowledge of, uh, of God's uh, consequences. They ain't got no knowledge of God. So they ain't got no fear of God. So I pray for the fear of God. And plus I study the word of God. It gives me a fear. So I get a double portion. I got a double portion of God's fear. Ain't no way I'm going to give this flesh what he want. Amen. I, ain't nobody going to seduce this flesh. Ain't nobody going to what? I say ain't nobody. Ain't but, but my wife that's going to seduce this flesh. Outside of my wife, any woman come up here, I cast a devil out of her. Do what with her? I cast a devil out of her in the name of Jesus. Get a lot of hand clapping, man, for his word. Thank God. Where that preacher come from? Amen. Bow my take is zip 777 03 
1975, East Lucas. Thank you. Uh, but he honored him and uh, that fear the Lord. Amen. He does uh, swear to his own hurt and changes not. Amen. He ain't going to change. Amen. Bless God. When he say something, he's going to hold on to it, even though it hurt him. That's something, man. See, it, it, hurt, it hurt the man to get six months, but he didn't realize uh, hell is eternity. He got a chance to come out. And when Mike, when Mike was talking about the truth, amen, it hurt him, amen. But uh, he said it, it'll let him go free. So I like the one that the scripture said, you should, uh, the, you should know the truth, the truth shall make you free. So I, I like to go free, so I know I'm free from hell, amen, when I tell her the truth. Because fifth her, he that put it not, amen, out his money to usury. You know what usury is? That's an increase, amen. You want to make the interest off of people. When they borrow money from you. That's the bank do that. Christians ain't supposed to do that. Ain't supposed to be charging nobody interest. Amen. That's the one that can dwell in the temple of God. Amen. The ones that have clean hands. Lord, have mercy. Ain't living like the devil. Now, take a reward against the innocent. They don't, they don't take money against the innocent person. A person that's innocent, they ain't going to take no money. Ask me if Jesus is Bible the center. When you pay your tithes and offering, we still tell you the truth. So you can't buy the preacher over here. I say you can't buy man no holler. Amen. Bless God. I, I work for God. Uh, he pay good. If you don't pay nothing, that's fine. God pay better. Who pay better? Get a lot of hand clap. I say God pay better. Oh, Lord, I bless you, God. I ain't never been without. I ain't never had my electricity turn off. I ain't never had no car. I wouldn't be having no, no car notes, uh, truck note. Lord, I must say. Uh, Lord, how much of God? I bet because of who? Because of Jesus. Even when I lost a job, I paid my tithe and often to the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm going to be faithful to you. Amen. Bless God, because I know you'll be faithful to me. And guess what? I'm here to tell you, he was faithful to me. But I had a job. He took care of me. An yeah, unemployment check. Amen. They want to give me a job making $200. Uh, 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 Lord, I said $200 a week. And I was already getting that a week. I said, I don't think I want to give up $200 to go work for $200. The Lord was already blessing me. I said, the Lord was already blessing me. So what I did, I waited on God, and he gave me a bet better than what they gave me. With benefits. Uh, get the Lord a hand clap for here. I said, God's also on. I said, with benefit. Uh, sometimes you got to wait on him. Lord, I'm messing with folk off and stuff. Amen. Sometimes you have to wait on God if you don't like that. Amen. God got something better. Amen. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, now take amen. Reward against the innocent. Uh, he that do these things shall what? Never be moved. You, can't, you see, because now you're in the presence of God. You can't be moved. Amen. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, that's what? That's liberty. You can't be moved. Amen. Bless God. So, Lord, thank God for, amen. Thank God for the word. Give the Lord another hand clap for that word. God is an awesome God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Come with the page 1325. Page 1325. And Second Peter. The second chapter, Second Peter, the second chapter, and we're going to start at the second verse. Amen. We're going to start at the second verse. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Third verse. According as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Though through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. You get four verb. Wherefore are given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of divine nature. What kind of nature? Divine. This, is, this is divine now. This is God's nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through what? Through lust. So if you still lust, you need to kill that devil. I said, if, you, if your flesh still lusting, and you're caught out of your mind still lusting, you need to kill him. I had a dream uh, uh, about a woman a couple of nights ago. Uh, and that, that spirit came on me. Uh, that, that, one, that one spirit came on me. Oh, it was on. When I woke up, I whipped the woman and the devil. I did what? I whipped the woman and the devil. I said, Lord, I want that spirit on me. Uh, you got to clean up. 
behind the devil. Uh, Lord, I'm say, uh, has have escaped, amen, the corruption, amen, in the world through lust. So lust try to get hold of me, amen, Lord, but he couldn't, he couldn't, he can't stay here. Lust can't stay here, amen. When lust come on me, it, it's a fight. See, the James put it this way. It said we are, we're drawn away by our own lust. And when lust is finished, it brings forth sin. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. It's a process. So notice what shows up first. What shows up first? It's the lust. It's going to show up first in your life. Where that preacher come from? Somebody tell me I'm getting, getting drunk again. Thank you, sis, again. I'll be, I'll be wanting to come out, but sometimes I get full of it. Amen. So, Lord of mercy. So it's a process. So I understand how the process works. Because the word has taught me. The word has taught me how the process works. Love's going to show up first. Love, have you sinned yet? Huh? Have you sinned yet? Love when the love show up? No. So when you sin? When you do it. Come on, y'all. Y'all walk. People that just Bible says send those something over here. Amen. It's when you do it. So love's going to show up first that you ain't sinned yet. But the devil make you believe that you're sinning. Because uh, now you got lust on you. Now, get the lust off of you so you won't. So you won't sin. Because he's going to show up. Your junk of flesh. Your junk of flesh is, is, is made to have a mate, uh, but not uh, have nothing on the side. So the devil used that part of you. I said the devil used that part of you make your junk of flesh crave for lust. So you have to get rid of the devil. Amen. Get rid of the lust, you get rid of the devil. I'll make it plain when you understand it. Amen. Look at the fifth verse. And besides these giving all dinner to add to your faith virtue. So I got to add something to my life as I grow in this thing. Amen. That's why we got on the side. Come grow it up. Amen. So you have to grow in there. So I got to add things to my life. Amen. As I walk in the Spirit of God. Amen. As I walk in the Spirit of God. Amen. I grow in it. Amen. There's nine fruits of the Spirit. And there's nine gifts of the Spirit. So I have to grow in this thing. So I understand. Amen. I ain't where I used to be when I first started. See, when I first started and you heard me preaching, ain't no way I was preaching like I'm preaching now. I was a baby. I was a baby preacher. Y'all, you, 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 you're no baby preacher. Oh, uh, you're no baby preacher. Yeah, he put everything in his mouth. Huh? It won't line up. Your brother might say, that baby preacher put everything in his mouth and it don't line up. Lord, have mercy, God. That's why you got to grow in this time. Amen. Bless God. Uh, give it all to them and add. Uh, uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, so I got to add uh, uh, to my faith uh, virtue. Virtue is due to Moses. Power. You know, when Jesus Christ, that woman, amen, they had, had the issues of blood, she said, if I can just touch the heavenly God, she know. She said, I know I'll be all right. So when she touched me, she said, the virtue came out. Do the most power. My God. How the virtue is. Amen. The Holy Ghost came out and hit that woman. And the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord come out, hit that woman, and she and she was healed. Amen. That's why you want to stay in the Spirit of God. Amen. Because somebody may touch you and the power, good most will come out of you. Lord, I must say, go to that person that needs some help. My God. Uh, and to virtue knowledge. So now I got some good most, now I got some knowledge. He said, my people perish. For lack of knowledge, so my knowledge is increasing now. Amen. Bless God. Lord, have mercy. I say my knowledge is increasing. Amen. My virtue is increasing. Lord, have mercy. My faith is increasing. Faith come by hearing. And hearing the word of God. I stay in the word every day. I don't miss a one day without getting in the word. And I don't play with the devil. I don't play with this flesh no more. I put some word on him. Keep him under control. I know if I feed him more, he be overriding the spirit. You give your old junk of flesh more, your old junk of flesh gonna ride God's spirit. That's why you gotta get it less and less and less. Then he ain't getting nothing now. Amen. Bless God. Lord, bless myself, here, Lord. And to knowledge, temperance. Temperance mean, you know what temperance mean? That's self control. You gotta, you gotta put self under what? You gotta put yourself under control. Uh, my brother Mike's talking about you gotta humble yourself. Amen. Humble yourself. You got to put that self under the temple. Amen. Because uh, that, that flesh want to uh, take off and put some bees on somebody or, 
Uh, they don't know who they're fooling with. You got to tell them out with your old junk mouth, all that stuff coming out your mouth. And then you're trying to figure out, well, wait a minute, I thought I was saved. You were saved, but now you're fleshing to go. Who didn't go? You allowed it to happen. Because you're not walking in the spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. You're not walking in the liberty that's in the spirit of God. Amen. So you have to learn how to do that. You have to learn how to walk. Now you see here, you have to add thanks to your life. Amen. As you as you grow. Lord, have mercy. So now I'm adding temperance, amen, uh, to my life. And now I got some patience. What, what happens when you have patience? <laughs> patience. You got to have patience when you in the patience. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, that's when you're enduring things, amen. Uh, Tribulation working. You know how people say, uh, Lord, give me more patience. You don't ask for that because you're going to get more problems. problems. You better I thank the Lord for what you got. And then when you go through uh, the problem, say, Lord, I, I, I help me, Lord. I need your patience to deal with this here. You ain't asking for you ain't got patience to deal with what you're dealing with. Amen. You ain't asking for more patience because then you got more problems to uh, increase your patience. You ain't going to do what? You ask for more problems to what? Oh, I don't want no more, I don't want no more tr troubles, Lord. Amen. When trouble show up, amen, give me the patient, your patient, that I need to have it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, but you got to be careful what you have for. Amen. Bless God. And now, uh, uh, from patient to what? Godliness. Y'all know what godliness is? You live like Christ. Godliness. Amen. Living like Christ. Amen. So now you got that in you. Amen. Working for you. So now you walk, you see you operating in the spirit here. That's how, that's how you stay free. That's how you stay free when you walk in the spirit of God. That's liberty. Amen. Uh, and to uh, godliness, uh, brotherly what? Brotherly, love. brotherly kindness. Amen. Uh, Lord have mercy. So now i got to be kind. Now if you look at the, at the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit is long suffering. And we're coming out to long suffering. Gentleness. <laughs> Y'all notice that? In the fruit of the spirit, gentleness coming out to long suffering. You gotta be chilling to people after you get after you went through all that stuff. So if you look at if you look at the word gentle, amen, you probably find that in there, amen, bless God, uh, that you're gonna need that gentleness, amen. Lord have mercy to deal with the uh, with the long suffering you put up folks with. And uh, this is why I like uh, the, to put to go behind long suffering. I also like the love go behind it. If you let love come behind long suffering, love covers. So where are you going to get that love from? You got to get that from God. See, all this comes from the nature of God. It don't come from a human being. It come from the spirit. The brother kind of now knows they got love there, charity. So now I got, I got, I got me some kind of love working for me, but I got to get it from God. I mean, I don't possess that now. I got to get it from God. I got to get it from his spirit. Look at that eighth prayer. For all these things being you in a body uh, that you made, that you may be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So now I'm not unfruitful in, 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 in Jesus Christ. This is the way Jesus Christ operates. I mean, he operates in, I mean, in the spirit. So I got knowledge of it now from the word. The word gave me that knowledge. Amen. How to live in the spirit. Amen. Because I said, Lord, I, I want to I know how to do that. Uh, so I, then I went to the Word of God and it teach me, amen, how to do it. Now I got to ask him to help me to do it because Herman can't do that by itself, amen. So you're going to have to have the Spirit of God to do it. Look at uh, 19, but, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see a fall and has forgot that he was purged from his what? Old sins. See, uh, uh, Lord have mercy. He done forgot he'd been purged from his old sin because he's not operating in the Spirit of God. Where he can be free. Where the spirit of law is. There's liberty. Freedom. I like my freedom. Lord, have mercy God. I done bless myself here, Lord. Amen. Uh, look at that ninth part. But he like these things are blind and cannot see afar off. For God had been praying for his old sin against him. Wherefore the red and brethren give dinner to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you should never what? You're going to never fall. Yeah. You know, some, some folks say you're going to fall. Well, find some scripture where you won't fall. Yeah. All you got to do is walk in the spirit of God. Amen. That give you liberty. Amen. Bless God. But then you have to find out how the spirit is operated. If you, if you study the nine fruits of the spirit, you see. Amen. The nine fruits of the spirit will give you liberty. There's no such law. You ain't breaking the law when you're operating in the spirit. Amen. You can't break the law of God in the spirit. Because yeah. the spirit ain't going to break the law. 
He ain't gonna what? Okay. The spirit ain't gonna break the law. That's the flesh do that. Flesh work, the one that break God's law. That's why a man wanna get rid of the law, so he operated in his junky flesh. Uh-uh, not me, not over here. Big G. Bobby ain't saying they ain't getting rid of nothing now. Amen. Uh, they, they read the scripture where Paul says that uh, uh, because now we're under faith, amen, in, in, in Jesus Christ, amen, uh, we're, not under, we're not under the law. In other words, Paul was saying the law couldn't save you. Well, the law can't save you. The law showed that you did wrong. That's why you need a savior. That's why you need grace. That's why you need mercy. That's why you need love. Amen, because we broke the law. But now, if I throw the law out, come on, y'all, brothers and sisters. If I throw the law out, amen, what I got to show me I'm doing right or wrong. So now I have to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all the other things will be added to me. Now, when I don't seek God, keep me looking, come with me to page 1247. Amen, page, I like to give both sides of this. Amen, come with me to page 1247. As the 10th chapter, at page uh, 1247, what's that? 1 Corinthians, amen, 10 and 5. Amen. We're going to start at the 5th verse. But when it, uh, many of, uh, of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Uh, we're going to do another study on that. I told you we're going to do another study. We did one study once before. Amen. And we have to do another one. Amen. Look at that 6th verse. Now, these things were our example. To the intent, we should not lust after evil thing as they also lust it. So it's for our what? An example. So the word of God is for what? It's our example. Don't study the word of God so you won't act like that. If it didn't work for them, it ain't going to work for you. Lord, have mercy God. Uh, I done bless myself, Lord. Now, some bread. Need to be uh, ye idolaters as uh, were some of them, as it's written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Uh, so you'll find other scriptures back that up what all he was doing out there. Look at that verse. Neither let us commit found occasion as some of them committed and fell in one day. Three and twenty thousand. What happened to them? They died. The Lord took them out. See, people don't want to bring, uh, people don't want to bring everything out about God. We're we going to bring it all out. Amen. Bless God. Look at, now, this is in the New Testament now. This, uh, you go to the Old Testament and learn about what happened to them. Uh, we'll do that again. We'll do another lesson on that. Amen. We'll go to the Old Testament and find out exactly what happened to them. Amen. Look at the ninth verse. Neither let us tempt Christ. And some of them tempted and be destroyed of the what? Of serpents. Serpents. Snakes brought, be, be, <laughs> killed them. Took them out. That's in the New Testament. Paul talking about it. Uh, people uh, want something smooth. But they, want to, they don't give you all Paul's writing now. They'll give you some of it. They don't going to give you all Paul's writing. Amen. Bless God. They don't want to lose their members. Well, if the word of God offend you, uh, you need to get delivered. Look at that night, 11 for it. Now all these things happen, and then to them for an example. Uh, they're written in, in, of our admiration upon the ends of the world are come. So if our example, that's what the thing was written for. Amen. It was written, amen, for my example. Amen. To let me know what's going to happen to me. So now I got a fear of God. I got a what? Lord, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want to run with that crowd, Lord. Skip 10. Thank you, Brother Mike. Amen. That's 10 and 10. Neither murderers, thank you, brother, uh, or as uh, some, some of them also are uh, murmured. You know what murmured mean, huh? Complain. So th does complain work out for you? You, know, you won't do that. Hey, go, go to the old temple and find out what happened to them. Uh, God ain't changed now. See, I'm God and I changed now. They were murmuring and complaining. We took us uh, uh, eleven day journey. Uh, it was forty years, and the one twenty years and under. That's the one that went in. The rest of them died in the wilderness. Uh, uh, I don't want to run with that cry, Lord. What about Joshua and Caleb? Did he die with them? No. no. See, because they believed God. You know, they sent 12 spies out. And, and, and then 10 come back with the E report and overthrew the church. If you run around with a lot of complainers, they're going to overthrow your faith. They're going to do what? They're going to overthrow your faith. You run with them. Uh -huh. I'm going to encourage the you heard Sister Gibby, you have to encourage yourself in the law. That's what David did. David encouraged himself. 300 men wanted to kill him. He ain't had nobody on his side. So if you ain't got nobody on your side, encourage yourself in the Lord and walk in the Spirit of God. 
where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Encourage yourself, you ain't getting nothing from people. Look at 12. Right? Wherefore, let him, amen, that think he standeth, take heed lest he what? Now, that man think he's standing. He think he, he think he's standing without the Lord. So if we find out how you can fall, and then we find out how you don't have to fall. Oh, come on. Give the Lord a hand clap. Thank God for the word. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Bless God. We already know how to sin. That's why we want to study about uh, more about sin so we can walk in the spirit, not in this uh, junk offense and corner out of our mind. Amen. Bless God. So where the spirit of the Lord is that uh, liberty. So now if I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, he said all the other things to be added. I think there's a good benefit here. So I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to seek after God. Amen. So look, let's look at another one here. Let's look at, um, my God, my God, my God. Page 1134. Page 11, amen, 34. And that's going to be uh, Luke 17 and 20. Amen, Luke 17, amen, and 20. That's where I'm supposed to go, Lord. Let me go, let me go back to, let me look at this again. Amen, I got 11, 34. Let me go to Luke 17 and 20 and see what's in there. Because that's not the same page. 17 and 20. Amen. We're going to find out. We're going to make sure it line up. I said, that's what I like about the word. Amen. Uh, that's uh, page 1134. What I said? 1134. That's what I said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then. That line, that devil lied to me. What happened? I found the truth. You know the truth? That devil said, you got the wrong page. Uh, Lord, you got something wrong with his mind self. But the truth came out. That's what I like about the word. It'll give you the truth. Yes, Lord. So the devil lying tell you, don't, don't worry about it. Say that word, and you'll find out the truth. Amen. Bless God. We got 20 for it. And when he was uh, demanded, and then the Pharisees, uh, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not without observation. Amen. You can't see it. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. You can't see it. For behold, the kingdom of God is where? It's on the inside of you. That's why you need to learn how to operate in the kingdom. Because the kingdom is on the inside of you. Um, we're talking about folks that are living by faith now. Not by sight. It says not by observation. In other words, you can't see it. Uh, it's in you. Lord, I must God. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to uh, page 1236. Amen. Page 12. Amen. 36. Amen. Page 1236. Amen. That's going to be, uh, Lord, I'm bless myself here. Uh, Romans 14 and 17. Romans 14 and 17. Now, this is what Paul says, amen, about the kingdom of God. Amen. This is what Paul says about the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness is what? And you know, see, first, the kingdom of God is what? His righteousness. So, you need to go study the rest of Paul's writing and stop studying a few scriptures you got. Amen. Uh, Lord have mercy. And peace. And the kingdom of God is what? Peace. Joy. And the what? And the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. It brings you some joy. And the Holy Ghost. That way you know you're in the kingdom now. Lord have mercy. Uh, for uh, 18 verse. But he that in, in these things serves Christ acceptable to God and approve of man. So then you become accepted of God when you learn about the kingdom of God, how the kingdom of God operates, how it works, amen, and it works in righteousness, amen, bless God. And you have the joy, amen, of the Holy Ghost, amen, because the Holy Ghost is in the kingdom. And learn, you have some peace. Oh, y'all going to get something else out of here. Amen. Let's go see. Let's get something else out of here. Let's go about peace. Let's go to page 1281. Page 1281. Lord, I'm blessed myself here. Page 1281. Page 1281. Amen. Bless God. We're going to, uh, Lord, uh, I'm going to bless myself here. Uh, as Philippians 4 and 6. Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for what? Nothing. For nothing. And everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. 
Let your request be made known unto God. So uh, we find out that the kingdom of God also deals with pride. Deals with what? It would deal with pride in this kingdom. You got to be praying in, in this kingdom. Lord, I bless you, God. I say, you got to be what? You got to be praying in this kingdom. And look what happened. Look at that seventh verse. And what, what, when you get through praying, what's going to happen to you? Look at that seventh verse. And the peace of God which passes all understanding should keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. So when I go into prayer, and I say, be careful nothing, you have to bring everything before God. Lord, help me bring everything. Help me pray about everything, Lord. Amen. If, how many times? Everything. everything, Lord. Let me pray about everything. Everything, Lord. Help Herman. Herman Andrew Young. That's me, Lord. Jesus, man. Let me pray about everything. And let your will be done and not his. That who will be done? His will. And not his will, Lord. Because your will is better than his. I don't bless myself here. Uh, uh, like a man said one time, he was praying and he had found his house. He found a house, four bedrooms, you know, two baths. And, oh, he wanted that house. So he prayed and said, Lord, he said, uh, help, 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 me, help me to get this house, man, for my family. Amen. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, and let it be your will. And he, he said, and, and, and he said, God, I hope, he said, I hope that be your will. That's the way he prayed. He said, I hope it be your will. In other words, he wanted that house. He didn't say, let it be your will. He said, I hope it be your will. Uh, so he wanted God's will to line up with his will. Uh, and, and then he came on the TV. Um, his wife got the house and said, hey, 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 I need that. Uh, the house that we get ready to get, it got full, full of water in it. And the Lord, he said, the Lord came and told me, said, now look here, son. Not only did I deliver you from that house because you, you, wanted, you wanted your will to be done. Uh, you didn't pray my will. You prayed your will. He said, now, I, I delivered you from that. Not only I delivered your house, I delivered your family because all his children were small and none of them were four, foot, four feet tall. It was all little ones. I hope y'all caught that one. He said, I, I delivered your family too, not just you. So it's good to pray God's in everything that you pray for. Because <clears throat> his will is better than our will. Uh, you know what's best for uh, Amen. Get a Lord. I said, get a Lord and let it pass all our understanding. So I got to make my request and then be known to him. Amen. Let it pass all my understanding. Amen. Uh, come with me now to, uh, Lord, I'm bless myself here. Uh, come with me to Matthew, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. And we find out that pray, praying the word brings deliverance. Praying the word brings what? Deliverance. Amen. Matthew, this is what Sister Kim there with. Amen. Six and nine on, uh, on Friday. Amen. At page 1043. Page 1043. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, meaning holy. That's what holy is. Holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. That's us, Lord. We are as it is in, in heaven. Lord, have mercy, God. Give us this day our daily bread. What you ask God to do? He asked God to feed you. This day. What day? So you want to take one day at a time. Want to take what? One day at a time. Don't worry about tomorrow. See, tomorrow got enough trouble in his own. Today is a day sufficient of the day of the evil there. So you asking God to feed you. Amen. This day. Our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. You know what debt is, huh? You owe something. So you ask God to forgive you the same way you forgive them. And then you're going to find out not only the debts is dealing with, it dealing also with sin. Lord, I bless you, God. Lead us not, amen, and forgive us our debts and forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen and amen. So if you go to Luke 17 and 20, let's go to Luke 17 and 20. Hold your finger there because we're coming back. Amen. Luke 17, amen and 20. You're not going to get everything in one place. So we're going to go to Luke, amen, 17 and 20. Okay, that we just got to deal with. Thank you, that Lord. Amen. We just we just got to deal with that one. Amen. Let's go. Let's go back. Amen. To uh, 
page 1043. So I'm asking God, leave me out of the chain. and deliver from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, the way we end up the prayer is in Jesus' name. And we're going to show, show you why. And then you're going to start praying the same way. See, because this, this is the Lord's prayer. <laughs> Who proud of this? That's the Lord's prayer. He don't have to say the name of Jesus. He is Jesus. Oh, y'all going to see why we have to say the name of Jesus when we end that prayer. So I, I got to pray this prayer how many days? Every day. Every day. I'm going back praying this prayer every day, Lord. Help me pray it every day. Because <laughs> there's a lot in that prayer. So I need to go back. And along with the other prayers I'm praying. And say it every day. Sometime before I leave to go out, amen, or uh, to drive, I say that prayer. And, uh, and the reason I say it because I'm, I'm leaving out of temptation, but they're living from evil. Because I'm getting ready to go out. And evil may be on the road. Temptation may be on the road. It might be a young lady trying to set me up. On the road. I know when I pick her up. And then I'm out to to get out. I'm out to tell the world. You have to catch a ride with somebody else. Because uh, you ain't right. My God. Give the Lord another hand clap for you as God. I say God is an awesome God. Thank God for the word. Amen. For if we forgive that trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Uh, but if you forgive not man that trespasses, trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. So now we see that if I don't, if I don't forgive, amen, God is not, amen, going to forgive me. Come with me, Mark 11 and 25. Amen. Mark 11, amen, and 25. I want to pick up because uh, here it's talking about trespasses. Uh, it's talking about death. Trespasses, that's sin. Uh, so you're asking God, to, amen, to give you a trespass, that's, that's sin. So you're going to see Mark may bring it out a little bit clearer here. So sometimes you have to go, amen, that's what I was looking for. Amen, I was looking for another one, amen, to pick it up somewhere else. Lord, bless you. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Oh, yeah, that's in Luke 11 and, and, and 3. Luke 11 and 3. Thank you, Lord. Mark and Luke 11, amen, and 3. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our what? Now, notice how Luke started off. He has to forgive for sins. Now, if you look in uh, Matthews, he has to forgive your debts. That's what you owe. Luke put sin in it. So now we're going to put both, both of them in it. That's good. That, that way you pray. You got more now to pray about. You got what? You, more, you got more to pray about. Because now, amen, Luke gives us a, a, about sin. But he also forgive everyone that is that, in debt to us. So Luke is dealing with the sin and the debt. Y'all notice that? Now Matthew just only didn't deal with what? He just dealt with the debt. So Luke dealing with both of them. Oh, uh, that's what I want to go to. Amen. I said, that's what I want to go to. Amen. And give, out, give you more groceries. Uh, and uh, uh, to give us our industrial and, and, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So you're asking God not to lead you into temptation. Uh, now, when Jesus Christ came on earth, the Bible says the Spirit led him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. He was led into tempt temptation. Why he was led into temptation? He had Yeah, to go back to the keys the devil stole from Adam. That's a good one, Brother, brother Mike. I agree with that. Man. Amen. And then he had to defeat sin. See, he couldn't have been a perfect sacrifice if he couldn't defeat sin. So he was tempted. The Bible says he was tempted in every area we were tempted in. So if you tempted Jesus Christ, he was tempted in every area. Amen. And well, he had more temptation than any man that walked this earth. And he defeated it. So if you think you can't defeat sin, just call on you some, some Jesus. And don't stop until that temptation gone. You'll know this thing is real once you, once you start operating in it. And stop working it. And stop letting your flesh work the spirit. Let the spirit work the, the flesh. Where the spirit of the Lord is, you're going to go free. I done bless myself here, Lord. Oh, bless God. Oh, God is an awesome God. Hey, man, get a lot of the hand clap, man, for the word. Now we're going to find out. Hey, man, now we're going to find out, uh, Lord of mercy, Jesus. Let's go to John uh, 14 and 6 at page 1169. Page 1169. 
Amen. Page 11, amen, 69. Bless God. Thank God for the word. Amen. That's page 11, 69. Uh, John 14 and 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. So when you pray the prayer, our Father, and you ended up with Jesus, he said, no man what? So I got knowledge now on how to pray the Lord's Prayer Ending it with Jesus Christ. You're going to find out some more scriptures I'm going to give you. Lord, have us. One thing about Facebook, you go back and get these scriptures again. And guess what? It ain't going to change. So that's okay, then, Lord. So when I pray the prayer, our Father, I got to put the name of Jesus because ain't no man coming to you. Amen. But uh, through your son. Lord, have mercy, God. So that's how I end my prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, let, let's look at another one. Let's look at uh, John 10 and 1. Amen. John 10 and 1. Giving you some knowledge on how to end your prayer. Amen. John 10 and 1 and page 11, 61. Very, very, I say unto you, he that in the end by the door and do the sheepfold, uh, but climb it up some other way, the same as a what? So I can't, I can't get to God unless I get to, through the door. I can't get to the Father unless I come through the But he that hid in by the door uh, is, a, is a shepherd of the sheep. To him that poured the open, and the sheep heard his voice, and called his own sheep by name, and leaded them out. So when I come to the door, amen, and talk to God uh, concerning my situation, uh, concerning the prayer, I will follow this daily, baby, amen, feed me now, Lord, uh, Lord, how much of God, uh, I have never been with that because of Jesus, because of the word of God. Of course, I'm a tithe too. I pay my tithe. I don't steal from God. I don't rob God. I ain't playing that game. Y'all want to go ahead? Go ahead and try. See if you're going to get away. Hey Amen. Let, let, let's look at another. Amen. Hey let's look at, uh, Lord, I bless myself here. I bless my own self here. Hey Amen. Let's look at another. Let's go to, uh, page 1170, 1313. And whatsoever you shall ask, in what? So I'm asking the Father in whose name? In Jesus' name, as I am the prayer, in the name of Jesus. So he said, well, ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So when I ask in the name of Jesus, the Father is going to be glorified in the Son, because I know how to pray now. I'll put the name of Jesus at the end of that prayer. Lord, have mercy, God. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I'll pray to the Father, and He shall give you another comforter that will abide with you. How long? Forever. You know what the comfort is? As the Holy Spirit. He's going to give the Holy Spirit. He's going to be saying, he's going to pray for us. He's going to pray for us to get the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, Lord, you can't beat this. Amen. You can't find this on your job. Not this. Not these promises. You know, I just pray in this name. I'm just praying in this name. Lord, have mercy, God. Amen. So I said, our Father prayer. Amen. I put the name of Jesus at the end of it. Amen. Come with me now to uh, page 1171. Page 1171. Amen. That's going to be uh, John 15 and 16. Amen. John 15 and 16. Uh, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordain you that you go and bring forth what? Fruit. I wonder why the Lord always talking about fruits. Now, you got gifts, and then you talk about the gift. See, a lot of people can operate in a gift, but they can't operate in the, in the fruits. I want it all, Lord. I want the fruits and the gifts. Lord, have mercy, God. Well, I'm going out to the fruits first. Amen. I want the fruits, Lord. Uh, and that, uh, your fruit should what? Your fruit going to remain. Uh, that whosoever shall act the Father and who? My name, he will give it to you. So I let him out to pray now. So when I pray to our Father prayer, amen, I use the name of Jesus. And I got scripture to back me up why I do it. Amen. So some people don't know, so it's all the knowledge that God is our Father prayer, but they don't know how to pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank God. You get more with that name. Oh, you're gonna get more with that name. And then nobody nobody can come to the Father. Except you come to the door. Amen. If you try to do it, you're gonna come here as a thief and a robber. Uh, so that somebody brother, these things I command you that you what? Love one another. He ain't let that love out. See, after I get through praying, I gotta do what? I say gotta love you. Uh, if you hurt my little feelings and emotions and everything else, running all over the place. Amen. My flesh, man, trying to control the spirit now. I'm not at liberty. Amen. I'm all bound up. Amen. Because I got chuck in my heart against you. Amen. Instead of asking God to get the junk out of me so I can pray for you. After God get what? I got to get the junk out of me to pray for you. Because I ain't going to want to pray for you. You hurt me. You did what? You hurt my emotions and feelings. So I got to get cleaned up first. Amen. Once I get cleaned up, amen, now, amen, I can pray for you. Amen. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, yeah, I'm free again. Oh, that devil's going to have me bow because you hurt my little feelings. Amen. Walked all over my emotions. I said the devil thought he had me bow, but I went to Jesus. Lord, have mercy. And so, Lord, get this stuff out of me. Amen. Create me a clean heart, Lord, uh, and ruin the right spirit in me, Lord. That's the, that's the way David prayed. Amen. Bless God in the book of Psalms. Amen. He got hold to the wrong spirit. So I'm learning now how, how to operate. I say I'm learning how to operate in the kingdom of God. Amen. To pray. Amen. Uh, at God's will. Amen. Let, let's look at another. Let's look at, uh, uh, did, I, did I deal with that, Lord? Amen. Uh, 15 and 4. Oh, okay. I got to deal with that too. I see that. While we're there, let's deal with 15 and 4. Amen. Abide in me, and I in you, as a bride cannot bear fruit of itself, except abide in the vine. No, no more can ye accept your abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He abide in me, and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, I woke up this morning and do my spiritual exercise at 5 o'clock this morning. My junk and flesh was tired. He didn't want to, he didn't want to do no exercise. He didn't want what? Anybody know about that? So, I, uh, anybody know about that? Uh, so, I, I said, Lord, you know what? Ain't nobody can do this without you. How many, how many bodies? Nobody. Nobody. Because you say, without me, you can't do nothing. So I call on Jesus to help me with my spiritual exercise. And I got through it. I got through it. I'm going to be working on something else on the spiritual exercise. I'm coming up with something else. I'm going to make a CD. I'm going to make a CD out of the spiritual exercise. Amen. All, all Victor G. Bible Center has to do is put it in their CD and they can do it at home or wherever. Going down the car, down the road. I said, I'm going to put it all on the CD. Uh, it's going to be like two hours and, and 15 minutes. But y'all do what y'all can with it. Lord, have mercy of God. My God, I'll be working on it. Oh, I'll be working it. I already worked something for Herman, amen. They already, you got you to eat, listen to it, and they do it behind. Lord, I said, no, I'm going to perfect this. I'm going to do what? I'm going to perfect it. Make it better. So I'll find out, amen, without the Lord. Amen, I can't do this. Amen, bless God. Ain't nothing without him. Amen, look at that six word. Uh, if you abide in me, if a, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth out of the branch. Where he going? He going to go to hell. Uh, that means that you you don't you ain't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Amen. Bless God. You you amen. You're living like the devil. Lord have mercy. And uh, as with it, and man gathered them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Look at the seven fire. If you abide in me, in my words, who who who, who gonna be in you? You gotta get some words in you now. Amen. You gotta get some Jesus. You see, I, I I'm gonna tell you how this thing works. If you get some Jesus in the Word, you can't fall. I hope y'all got that. I will make it plain when you can understand it. You get Jesus in the Word in you, Amen. You gonna be a mighty person, a woman of God, man of God, a child of God, whoever you want to be. Lord, bless it. Uh, and my word abide in you. You shall what? Ask what you will, and it be done in you. See, because you you gonna be praying the Word. See, the Word is in you, and you know how to pray because you pray the the Word. As deliverance in praying the word. My God, my God, my God, my God. 
Amen. We know that's the living so We find out that Jesus Christ had to pray. Amen. He had to pray the word. Lord, have mercy. He had to pray the will of God. Amen. Uh, uh, he had to pray what God wanted, not what he wanted. Amen. Come into uh, Matthew's the uh, 26th chapter. Uh, time catching up. We're going to have to stop there. And hopefully we pick this up Monday. Amen. We hope we pick this up Monday and continue with this message because we got a lot of grocers here. Amen. Bless God. Uh, I don't know. We, we, we might be in here for a while. Hey, y'all are going to be surprised how much gross they've got. Amen. And being free in the spirit. There's a lot of grocers to that. But you're going to learn how to be free in the spirit. Amen. Uh, Matthew, the 26th chapter. Lord, I must say, uh, I don't dust myself here. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, 36 verse. Amen. Uh, 26 and 26. Then come Jesus, man, with, he, uh, with them unto a place called uh, Gethsemane, and said to them, and, uh, 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 unto his disciples, Set you here while I go pray yonder. And if Jesus had to pray, we got to pray uh, uh, more. 37 verse. Uh, he took with him Peter and two of the sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very hairy. And then the two sons of Zebedee, that's uh, Peter, and he took uh, James and John. You'll find that in the book of Matthew 4 and 21, who the two sons are. Amen. So you need to take some believers with you. I wonder why, why you got to take believers with you. You're going to have to get you some believers in, man. You go, see, Jesus Christ, too. And then he went to sleep. That's all right. If the believers go to sleep, what you got to do? You got to keep praying. If if the word that you take with you, then when and you they snore, I done been I done been in prayer service in the morning at five o'clock prayer, and I can hear him snoring. What you think happened? You kept huh? I kept praying, and I and I prayed for them. I'm <laughs> blessed. I said, Lord. Look at 35. Uh, then said unto him, uh, My soul exceeding sovereign, even the dead tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father. See, you don't have to say the name of Jesus. Why you ain't got to say the name of Jesus? He is Jesus. Oh, y'all catching this. He is Jesus. Uh, if it be possible, uh, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. So we see that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, amen, and he had a will. So that's why it's good to know the will of God. And when you pray in the word of God, you pray his will. And if you don't know his will, say, Lord, not my Because he's he, he going to answer that prayer because you might not know what his will is. But you're asking him for his will to be done. Look at 45. And he came in unto his disciples and finding them asleep. And said unto Peter, What uh, should not watch with me one hour? Uh, come on, y'all. Y'all can't, can't pray one hour with me? Come on, y'all. So we have one hour prayer over here, and they'd be the way to sleep. They'd be what? They'd be tired. You can't do that without the Lord. 41 Friday. Watch and pray that you had a night of temptation. Who's telling them to go to sleep? That's a devil. I, I, anytime, if you have some problems sleeping at night, uh, start reading your Bible. I guarantee you, you go to sleep. Yes, you will. You will. You'll go to sleep. Never leave you alone because you won't share that word. Ah, uh, I know what I'm talking about. And start praying if you don't even watch it, you don't go to sleep. Uh, that devil tempt you to go to sleep then. He don't want you to pray. He don't want you to read that word. Uh, you'll go to sleep. You'll be snoring. And then you'll be uh, getting up off the floor. Well, you was praying that. <laughs> Let me get back over here. Yes, preacher, come on. But I'm take a zip. 777-03-1375, East Lucas. Thank you. Amen. Uh, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the what? You can't depend on your flesh to pray. You got to depend on the spirit of God to pray. What well, the spirit of the Lord is, that's liberty, that's freedom. And for the second part, he went away uh, again the, the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if this cup in me may not pass from uh, away from me, except I drank it, thy will be done. So it is God's will for him to go to the cross. He knew that. Because for the third part, and he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. 
And he uh, left, uh, left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. He did what? Same word. Don't, pray, don't stop praying. Don't listen. People pray more than one time and sign on. Believe that. I beg you to do this. Jesus Christ said the same prayer three times. Pray until you get your victory. Know that Jesus Christ has got his victory and he's going to tell them to sleep on. He tell them what? They don't sleep on. Amen. They come and decide and say to them, do what? For the fifth earth. Sleep on now. And take your rest. And behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of what? Sinners. Rest. Let, uh, uh, arise, let us, let us go, be gone. Behold, he is at hand that good betray me. Did Jesus Christ get his day breakthrough? Oh, yeah, he got his breakthrough. He didn't start praying until he got it. Now the folks have showed up. So he know he got to go to the cross. Amen. Bless God. Thank God. Amen. And he prayed the will of his father. Amen. That way that gave us a chance. Amen. Amen. They have eternal life through him. That gave us a chance. Amen. Bless God. Uh, to walk in the spirit and not in his flesh. Uh, that gave us a chance. Uh, where the spirit of the Lord is. Uh, there is liberty. Uh, I say he gave us a chance to come out uh, of our junky flesh. Uh, and to come out of our mind. By his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. We had a word. We're going to run out of time again. Brother John, I want to take care of that first. Thank you, brother. Let's go out of spirit. Lord, Lord, your word said. Your word said. Well, two or three. Well, two or three. Touch the green. Accidentifying. In your name. In your name. You say you'll do 